How's it going out there? This is Jay Xavier Sports, and today we are discussing the Jaguars versus Saints. The recap of the first preseason game for the Jaguars. Uh, we did lose 24-20 to 20, uh, to the New Orleans Saints, but hey, it's all good. You know, preseason, we don't really care about wins and losses. Uh, definitely a lot to take away from in this first game, um, but definitely I want to give grades to the three units. Uh, or you know the offense, defense, and special teams. We're gonna grade them. And I'm gonna give you some, just some guys I thought that stood out, some um, impressive players, and uh, maybe some things that we can carry over to our, uh, our 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 next preseason game versus the Minnesota Vikings, which will actually be doing joint practices with them. So that's gonna be uh, really beneficial for our team. As you saw last year, we did joint practices with the Patriots, and we ended up being in the AFC Championship game against them. So obviously. Things like that are going to be good for our football team. Uh, as far as the offense is concerned, I would probably give them about a A minus as a as a unit. Uh, only reason why it's not an A plus is because you know Tanner Lee, our our, our third string quarterback and our seventh round pick, he didn't he didn't really look too good. So um, obviously he's our third stringer, so we he's probably not going to make the team. He's probably uh, going to make the team as a practice squad quarterback most likely, but. Um, I was very impressed with Blake Bortles. Um, we we scored on a what a 15 play drive, on our very first drive took up about seven plus minutes of the clock. So a very dominating opening drive, and we capped it off with a touchdown. So um, that was very I thought that was very impressive by the offense. You can definitely see this team is uh, built to score points, and you know all that talk about our wide receivers being you know dead last in the NFL. Or our wide receivers not being as good as you know most people think, um, you know Keelan Cole didn't play in uh, our first preseason game, but you saw guys like D.D. Westbrook had a couple catches. He had a big third third down catch on third and ten to extend the drive. I and mean, you see uh, D.J. Shark had a nice fifteen yard catch, and then Dante Moncrief had a couple catches on the opening drive. So um, definitely the receivers do look like they're you know they're going to be pretty good. Uh, Rashad Green even had a couple catches as well. So um, all the talk about the receivers not being as good, and you know it was a, it was a mistake for us to not to resign Allen Robinson. Um, you know I don't want to overreact just the one preseason game, but the receivers definitely did their job, and they look like you know they're going to be really explosive for us with the speed that we have on the field. You know we have the ability to be explosive. So, and then guys like Corey Grant, um, you know with our running backs, you know Corey Grant was catching balls out the backfield too as well. So look for him as another viable option you know, as being like our, almost like our fifth receiver playing running back. So uh, definitely, I thought he did a good job as well. And then um, other guys from our offense that stood out, uh, guys like uh, obviously Blake Bortles, uh, Leonard Fournette, and TJ Yeldon. Um, I, I feel like that's going to be a good one-two punch with Fournette and Yeldon. Uh, you see Fournette, you know, he lost a little bit of weight, so he looks faster. And then TJ Yeldon, you know, he still looks like a viable running back. Um, so if... Fournette was to go down with an injury, you know, I have we have no problem with putting in TJ Yeldon and Corey Grant backing them up. So I you know, I like the depth what our running back position is looking like. Um, definitely impressed with uh, all the guys on the offensive units. Heck, and even Cody Kessler um, played well as a backup. Uh, I think he only had what? He was fourteen for seventeen, hundred and thirty nine yards and a touchdown. So he he even proved that if Blake was to go down with an injury this year, yes, we know it was only one preseason game, but he proved in that preseason game that, you know, maybe he might not be uh, as bad as Chad Henney was. And he could possibly get us a win or two if Blake Bortles was to go down for an extended period of time. So um, our other units, uh, the, the the defense, I would give them I would give them about a B plus. Um, I thought they looked pretty good. Um, I didn't like the fact that we gave up points in our opening drive. I know it was only a field goal. And... Um, I, I don't think the Saints punted until, like, late in the second quarter or things like that. So, um, definitely the defense, you know, they weren't disappointing by any means. Um, you know, a lot of our guys didn't play, you know, like Calais Campbell. Not really too concerned about, you know, not too concerned about the defense. But I would just like, you know, I would like to see uh, our first unit get a stop on that first opening possession. Well, you know, with Drew Brees not playing. One person I did that did stand out to me in the defense uh, was Leon Jacobs, our rookie. Uh, out of Wisconsin, and it looks like he might. Uh, it looks like he might be the starter this year. Um, I initially thought Blair Brown would compete for that position at linebacker, but 
Uh, the coaches, you know, whether they're sending a message to Blair Brown or whether they truly believe Leon Jacobs is the guy to start, um, that's definitely something to watch out for. Um, in camp, you know, the battle between Blair Brown and Leon Jacobs. Leon Jacobs flashed on the, on the field a couple times. He had a couple, um, he, uh, you know, he had a couple of nice tackles. And then uh, he had a he had a one play where I remember he pressured the quarterback pretty good. So um, he's pretty bigger than I thought he was going to be, and he's a lot faster than I thought he was going to be. So that's 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 two good things you're looking for in your linebackers is that speed and the strength. Hopefully he continues to play well and um, definitely see that defensive unit getting a lot better this year with our young talent. And then uh, to cap it off, our special teams unit, um, I thought they did a great job as well. Um, they could have did a little bit better on kickoff coverage. I thought that was a little bit shaky, but I know with the new rule they implemented in the NFL, I know it's going to be kind of hard to adjust to. So uh, I'm not really concerned about that. Because um, you know, our special teams unit was one of the best in the NFL last year. And really the only thing we struggled with was punting the ball with Brad Norman. And you see our uh, our, our uh, rookie punter, Logan Cook, man, he like he was booming that ball out there. So obviously I'm not worried about our punting position. Um, he looked like he can he can really punt the ball. And even in looking at training camp and going to the practices, you can tell that uh, he looks very efficient in punting the ball. So And, and then uh, Josh Lambeau. Man, what can you say about Josh Lambeau? He's like, he is just money. He's money in the bag, man. And, uh, you know, kickers don't really get a lot of coverage unless they're missing. So uh, we don't want to take this for granted. You know, Josh Lambeau's look very impressive. In my opinion, he was one of the best kickers in the NFL last year, and he continues to look like he's going to be doing the same this year. So uh, definitely that's one thing I'm really excited about is Josh Lambeau. Definitely a big turn, you know, turnaround from um, – uh, Jason Myers and DJ Shark. DJ Shark came up with a big tackle, um, you know, on the on the uh, punt team. So we see guys like our young rookies. You know, hey, you know, they might not make a lot of plays uh, receiving the ball. You know, as far as DJ Shark, he only had one catch for 15 yards, but he popped up on film with special teams. So coaches see that. Coaches see his hunger. They see the speed that he has. Uh, they see all those things on film. So. Don't take that stuff for granted. You know, stuff like that is going to get him on the field and get him more touches with the first team. So definitely uh, leave a comment. Uh, subscribe if this is your first time watching. Uh, thank you for all the Jaguar fans or Azure football fans that do subscribe to my page and uh, like any of my videos and watch me. Uh, I really do appreciate all the love and all the support. But go Jags. This is Jags Every Sports. Signing off. Love you guys. Thank you for watching the video.